a friend asked um, what we were using for a main girdle uh, support in the middle. This is something I had made at Universal Machine Shop. Um, it's actually a complete replacement for the center main cap. Refocus. And the, um, it, it worked okay. I mean, the only thing I kind of screwed up on is these holes here do not line up with the original pan holes. And so when you screw these screws down, there's not much metal on the pan rail. I would have done a better job uh, doing something a little different. And I will show that on another um, little segment where I have a Doug King girdle. And I think they used the uh, these supporting bolt holes. The, the girdle overall is very similar. But they use the original pan rail um, bolt holes. The, this, of course, mandates that you modify the oil pan like that. I don't know if you can see it very well. You know, you got to notch it out like that. This is a center main cap replacement that I bought from Dave Tatum. Really unusual in that it's aluminum. Um we used it and it worked okay. The uh, thing is, I've kind of messed it up now. Um, somewhere along the way, I chewed, it, mounted it wrong, and really chewed it up. Yeah, it's pretty much junk. But um, it was interesting that it was aluminum of all things. You know, you wouldn't think that would be that strong. The copies I bought off of eBay, which I don't have one with me right now, are identical to this, but they're they're mild steel. And they seem to work pretty well. And the motor that we completely blew up, the main cap was still fine. You know, um, matter of fact, it's, I, I don't know if it's the same one, but here it is mounted on a block. Um, I had two of them. I don't know where the other one went. Um, you know, it, it works pretty good. It, the, the extra bolts that you put on an angle are a little bit tricky to um, get set up. And we've in the past we've had the bo the blocks line board after mounting these. This one just seems to work fine. Um, I don't know, we're gonna see what we're gonna do. I may I may run it just like that. Now this is the um, third fourth setup. Now we I have never run this. This is a Doug King girdle. It comes with all kind of instructions, and it seems like I'm just noticing now. It doesn't really interact with the um, main support. It's the main support is still just a two bolt setup. This setup is basically to support uh, the lower part of the block, uh, and I believe these will actually line up. These two bolt holes will line up with the pan rail uh, bolts, and of course, this whole setup. Uh, there's another uh, billet main cap that's at, on the block at the machine shop. I'm having it redone. This particular engine was the one out of the, the Lakeser that went 210 or 207 or something like that. So I'm kind of getting it freshened up. The pan is much modified. It's kind of like the other one in that it's, you know, a big V-notch. But this one's also been modified with a little kick out on each side for extra capacity. And what you're looking at there is the turbo oil return line and a windage tray, which was pretty neat. They actually even had a little windage tray on the bottom of the oil pump itself to kind of kill any um, windage. But it's, I mean, obviously very stout. Uh, I'm just kind of surprised it doesn't, like I said, doesn't interact with the main cap. The design that I came up with, this, this piece here, like on the other one, is the main cap. Um, there's, there's no bolts coming through or anything to bolt it down. I don't think it touches on this at all. It's interesting. Uh, I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, but I know people have run this. We actually met Doug King one, once or twice, a very nice guy. 